Welcome back to the East Coast Outdoorsman. I'm Chris Ben. Today, we're talking whiskey, hunting camp whiskeys. Stick with us. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about hunting camp whiskeys, what you should take with you, all that kind of stuff. But first, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and watches the channel and likes it and comments. I appreciate you all, so thank you very much. But let's get right into it. We're gonna do like, kind of my budgets, some of my favorite budgets, and we'll do a little mid-grade, and then, you know, a couple little ballers to throw out there if you're really feeling fancy. But we're gonna start with the budget whiskeys. Short, sweet, to the point. Jim Beam. Tastes good, great mixer, good neat. It's not the best, but this bottle here, at least in Pennsylvania, is gonna run you right around 20 bucks for uh, 750 liters. It isn't bad. Great budget. Next, this is the king of budgets in my opinion. Wild Turkey 101. This is gonna stand up to ice. It's gonna be great to sip neat. It's gonna be a mixer. This is what I would take, personally, my number one budget that I would take to a hunting camp. Boom, Wild Turkey 101. Another really good option, if you can find it, early times. This is a liter. You buy this by the liter. It's 100 proof, bottled in bond. It's actually really good. And the price point for this is $25. That's what I paid in PA for this, 25 bucks. This is my decanter bottle for home for when people come over because it's it's budget, but it's really good. So these are your, my top budgets. Number one, Wild Turkey 101. Good old fashioned Jim Beam, can't get wrong with it. Early times. Whole liter, $25. Great for mixing, great for sipping. With these budgets, budget bottles, you cannot go wrong. Next, now we're gonna get into where it gets a little tricky. Um, this is gonna be what I consider a mid-grade bottle, anywhere above 40, below like 70, 75. And this is stuff that I have here right now. I drink it, this is what I like. You're not going out, I'm not going out of my way to find anything special because these are the bottles that I have now. So probably my favorite favorite and probably top five bourbons period bakers seven year this is going to run you about 65 bucks but this is one of my top five favorites um this is my go-to on a daily love this stuff great stuff like i said bakers is my personal and that's going to run you about 65 bucks next straight bourbon Rabbit Hole Cave Hill. This is another one's gonna run you, what I say? I have this at about the same price, about 65 bucks. Super, super good. And it's going, I, I wouldn't mix this. This is a mixer. This is gonna be good on ice. This is gonna be good neat. This is kick up beside the fire, throw your feet up, just have a pour and enjoy the afternoon, the evening, whatever it is. If you're gonna mix, that's the budget stuff. That's why you bring the budget stuff. You got people that ain't real whiskey bourbon nuts. You always take a bottle of bourbon or a budget bottle with you. Next up in the mid grade, this is actually another one of my favorites. Four Roses Small Batch Select. This is a, uh, a blend for them and it has like five or six, but it's so good. Uh, everything you want in a bourbon, like I said, you're kicking back by the fire, you're having a pour, you're telling hunting stories, or you're telling what you saw. Like, this is just another one of them bottles that fits that bill perfectly. Oh, what do I have written down for this? This here costs 62, so $62. Great, great bottle. Now, one of my favorites, Eagle Rare. I don't really know if this is in the mid-grade, but uh, not everybody can find it. 
at MSRP, so prices jump up a little bit. Here in Pennsylvania, I think I spent like 40, 40 maybe 45 bucks on, on a bottle. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is such a good bottle. Um, I don't drink it all the time because I can't get it all the time, but one of my favorites right here. So good. So there you go. There's your mid grades. There's your like, you know, you got your ones that are kind of mixing, but you can still drink neat. These ones, man, people mix it. You can mix it, but these ones you're going to drink straight up. And now, now for the baller. This is for the guy that you're going to camp and you're trying to, you know, kind of flex a little bit in front of the boys. There's only a couple here that I would put in that category. And I'm going to start with one that is not a bourbon. This is an Irish whiskey. This is one of my favorite Irish whiskeys. Red Breast 12 Cast Strength. There she is. This is, like I said, this is one of my favorite non-bourbon whiskeys. Um, I love the 12 by itself, the Red Breast 12. It's gonna run you about 70 bucks, super good bottle, but not quite a flex bottle. But this one here, this is, if I remember correctly, it's like 100 and 116 proof, super gentle, super smooth. Like, just, just go with me on this adventure. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna, Crack this bad boy, have a nice pour, telling hunting stories. You know, you got your old man there, you got your uncles or whatever. So you got that vibe. You got a good, good bottle. This is a flex bottle. I love this bottle. Um, this bottle here in Pennsylvania runs about a hundred bucks, but so worth it. Uh, everyone should have one of these behind their bar, in my opinion. Take it to camp. No one's gonna be like, oh, that's terrible. Unless they're not a whiskey drinker, and then, well, they don't know what's good anyway. Next. I do not remember <clears throat> the exact price of this one. Uh, my wife actually was able to pick this up for me while we were in, while she was in Kentucky. Russell Reserve Single Barrel. This bottle here is a troublemaker. Uh, it drinks so easy. It's 110 proof, but it drinks so so smooth, punches way under its proof. I mean, it is gentle, very good. This is another gonna, I think it's gonna be right around the hundred dollars, but it's something that we don't see a lot here and it is so good. This is another one that I think is kind of a little flex. It's not a 13, which is ridiculously priced. It's not, you know, an Elijah Craig, it's not a Knob Creek 12. I have all of those, but if you're going to camp, you want some good straight up, something that everyone can sip on and enjoy, that's what I have here. This one, very good, get yourself one. Now, it's not necessarily ultimate flex, but no bottle in the world is as recognizable as a bottle of Blanton's. For some reason, one, it is good. Don't believe the hype. It is a very nice bottle if you can get it at MSRP. I'm lucky enough to have a few bottles at MSRP. Uh, it's, I think it's like a 65 bucks, 67 bucks here in Pennsylvania. But this is a flex bottle. This is a bottle that people are looking for. You show up to hunting camp and you say, boys, this is our celebration bottle. First buck on the ground, we crack it open and we enjoy. That's what this bottle is. That's what this bottle is to me. This is a celebratory bottle. I'm not drinking it all the time, but you will never be sorry cracking this one to celebrate. So that's it, y'all. Those are my personal bottles of choice. Budget, mid-grade, a little bit of a flex. I know it's a little different than what we have been doing, but let's be honest. Aren't you all the time kind of boring when I can't shoot? We can't get a lot of interesting stuff it's just technical stuff it's boring um so i'm throwing in some of me this is me this is what i love i love whiskeys uh, I, I love the outdoors so i'm gonna keep mixing and changing things up on you guys until i am good enough to get back to normal archery shooting deer dragging lifted pickup truck driving self 
Thanks for watching. Remember, like, shout out what bottles you like or don't like, and uh, subscribe. I'd love to keep this growing. You know, I, I, I'd love to get to 100, and when we get to 100, we'll keep going. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. Uh, maybe give away some fletchings, some arrows. Maybe we'll do something like that. I appreciate y'all for watching. Have a good one. Peace.